Hello there, everyone. I hope you can all see me. I did seem to have a little bit of trouble getting in, but I hope you can all hear me and see me well now. Hello, everyone. Oh, hi, Lynn. Yeah, it's been a while. Um, things have been happening here. I've had to spend a little bit of time with my family. And so, um, yeah, a couple of lives, well, I just didn't do them. There we go. But we've got lots of other people from Altenew who are also doing lives now. So we try to uh, distribute it evenly. Hi there, Sue. Hi, Avril. Thank you for telling me you can hear me and see me. Hi, Claudine. Hi, Nancy. Hi there, everyone. So welcome back. It's um, Thursday, which means another live from me. I am just about getting into the new school routine, which is always, uh, September is always a bit hectic here. I don't know how it is where you are, but I am a teacher. And so getting back into the groove does take a little while, but I'm getting new, used to my new schedule. I have Thursdays off, which means I get lots of time to craft or just to clean the house like I did today. But I'm so happy I get to do a little bit of crafting this evening with you. Hi there, Carrie. Okay, behind the Altenew badge, we've got Roxanne. She's going to be answering any of the questions I might miss and um let me just think yeah and she'll also be putting in all the links there we go oh avril i'm so glad you got the set <laughs> that's 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 really that's how the postal system works you need your set you get it just like a couple of hours afterwards so i think you all know how this works on our lives do share this uh, video while it is live and we will pick a lucky winner at the end of this live session Oh, thank you, Jennifer. I'm looking forward to it. So I've got a couple of ideas in my head. I didn't have time to test them out today. So we'll just see where that goes. And here is the stamp set we're going to be using. So I'm going to try and hold that up to the camera. So as you all know, for those of you who have been following my lives for a while now, I tend to grab stamps that I haven't used before. So this is one of the stamp sets I haven't used before and which I find a bit intriguing. So I thought I might use it on uh, here and just show you um, what you can create. I'm going to be creating some lovely rainbow colored cards or at least one rainbow colored card and then another one using this uh, pink watercolor white washi tape, which you can see here. So it's kind of, I'm gonna try and roll it out just a little bit so you can see it. It's this really kind of, it's kind of got this watercolor effect and you've got pinks and going over into purple. Yeah, it's got lovely big sentiments. That's why it's really great for scrapbooking as well. I haven't used it yet on a scrapbook layout, but I think it would work really well too. There we go. So here you can see. I am just going to pull out the a trifle card because this stamp set is pretty unique because you've got the hello and that's kind of your base. And then you're going to work uh, these pretty scripted words into the hello set. There we, we've got it. So I'm just going to show you some of the um, examples inside, which is always great. I love these trifle cards. It's also always a little bit of extra inspiration you get when you buy all the new products and stamps. So you've got lots of cool ideas. And they even tell you which color combinations you can use and what other products you can pair with it. So this is a great way of getting started if you don't know how to use a stamp set. So there we go. I've already pulled mine out, ready to go. What else have I got on hand? I've got some smooth cardstock, some watercolor cardstock, which, oops, which is now on the floor. Oh, I'm off to a great start. There we go. Let's just put my slippers down there. So I've got some watercolor cardstock. I don't have the pre-cut one from All to New, so I'm just using a watercolor cardstock from the watercolor paper pad from All to New. This is my favorite watercolor paper. It's really nice and thick. 
Uh, it is cold pressed and um, you get a really nice effect. So I've got some smooth, some watercolor cardstock and I've got my artist watercolors this time. I thought it would be nice to grab those instead of my watercolor brush markers. So I think we're all set to go. I've also got some embossing ink, which you can see here and rose, rose gold embossing powder, but you could use any embossing powder you have on hand. I'm just gonna quickly re-ink my, em my embossing pad because I haven't used it in quite a while. So I've got the re-inker from Alton, as you can see here. I'm just kind of inking that up again. It is pretty sticky. I don't know if you can see it on the screen. So what I usually do is I kind of just Put some of that on there and then I kind of rub it in with the nozzle of the re-inker and that usually does the trick. There we go. So that's ready to go as well. Some obsidian black ink you can never go without and I've also got a watercolor palette here just in case. So let me just switch cameras and then we can start working. Oh I didn't I don't know if I kind of set the camera up correctly. We'll just check that now. Oops, wrong button. <laughs> okay. So I can't seem to find my... There we go. Let's just connect it. Oops. It's really not well. Let's just zoom in a bit. There we go. So there we have the mats and I, I've got the impression that everything is elongated again. I don't know why it does that. Let me just try and fix this for you. So I'm just trying to So I don't know what is happening. Everything is elongated. We'll just have to try and work with this. I don't know what's up with my camera settings today. Let me just try and figure this out one more time. Otherwise, we'll just work with this. Very weird this is happening. Well, anyway, let's get started. It might flip back to normal. So first things first, we're going to create uh, a very simple card using our lovely washi tape, which you can see here. And I'm going to kind of pull it out and create a kind of a strip which is as long as my card. So this would fit a card base really, really nicely. Hi, uh, hi Eliza. I'm just going to pull off a little strip. Oh, pull it off correctly. So you have to be careful with this, it's really sticky. So I've got my first little strip here, and I'm just going to adhere this to the top here, like so. And now I'm going to do the same with the bottom part. Like so. Let's just, and then let's just tear it off like so. 
So I'm using like the top part and the bottom part because I do like that straight edge. So that will really work well on my card. And the rest I'm just going to leave on there. I can always do that, use that on another project. Thank you for sharing. So let me just pop this maybe a little bit lower. Oops. Okay, that's nice. So I'm just going to fold this over. I might do the top one again. Let's just do the top one again. So as you can see, it comes away really, really nicely. I'm just going to take another piece, which is here, and just pull that off. I can use this one. So I want to kind of create a frame for my sentiment. There we go. And here you can see there's nice variations in hue on that lovely, lovely pink paper. So this is a great way to frame a card or even a scrapbook layout. I do this a lot of times with my scrapbook layouts as well. Kind of frame them in with elements like washi tape or even paper, which you like pop on the top and in the bottom. I'm just gonna cut off all the excess washi tape, which is on the sides here. There we go. So here you can see how that looks. I'm sorry because the, the dimensions look a bit elongated on my screen. I don't know how it looks where you are. I don't know if I can fix that or not. So um, I might just try something else a little bit later on. Okay, so let's have a look at our stamp sets. I'm just going to pop it onto some white, which you can see here. You can see I'm going to start with the Hello Sentiment, and I am going to use my Misty tool for this just to help me position the stamp set. So this is the first time I'm using this set. I have had a really, really good elongated. Yes, it does suit, doesn't it? But I'll try and fix that a little bit later on. So usually when I open my other program, it kind of So usually when I select a source, it should I don't know why it doesn't want to do it. <laughs> I don't know why. We'll have to work with this today. There we go. So I'm going to use my Misty tool for this. As you can see, everything is elongated. And I don't understand why everything is elongated like this. It shouldn't be, but anyway. So... Funny restream on the internet. So we're going to start with the hello, which we're going to stamp in our obsidian black ink. I'm just going to place that in the center, approximately. I'm just having a look here, like so. And then let's just close the panel, replace everything. So this is the first time I am using this set. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to prep this in advance. So to do this, I'm just going to use the Alter New Eraser and just go over my stamp. And you will feel when you use it for the first time, it's like really sticky. And when you use your little 
a prepping tool or your little eraser, it will just feel nice and matte and that way it will just pick up the color a lot better. Thank you for sharing, Joni. Let me just have a look at all those. Comments. There we go. So now that I've prepped that, I'm just going to ink this up with some obsidian black ink. And the fun thing with this stamp set is that you can create really create nice contrasts between the hello stamp and then the second stamp you stamp on top. So I'm going to first stamp my hello, give that a good press in black. And there we go. You can see how nice and crisp that is. So not to forget, let's just give this a little clean. So I just use a little cloth to clean that. There we go. And then it's ready to go for the next project. There we go. Okay, I think I managed to do something so that the size is correct. I don't know if you can check for me and just tell me how that looks now. So we've got our hello on there. I'm just going to heat set this with a heat gun. Let me explain. Um, ooh, that's my phone telling me to go to bed <laughs> a bit early. So this is the Obsidian Pigment Ink, and it does dry a little bit slower than our other permanent inks. So what I'm going to do, because I want to use some embossing ink afterwards, I just want to heat set this just to make sure that when I add my embossing powder, nothing sticks to it. I will use some anti-static powder as well, but um, I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to heat set it just to make sure. I don't want to smudge it. I don't want anything sticking to it. Oh, Doris, you really struggle with the correct black ink to use with copies. What do you mean by copies? So with Altony, we've got our Obsidian Black Ink. Usually I use this one for all of my sentiments and when, when I'm stamping my titles, just because it's really, really crisp. But if you want to do anything like, um, this is perfect, for example, for watercoloring, but it, it will smudge if you use the oh, um, alcohol markers. So for the alcohol markers, we have Copics. So you, you would have to get a black ink like a permanent ink which is made for alcohol markers and i do always advise even though the ink is made to work with the markers um just to kind of either let it air dry for at least half an hour or heat set it with a heat gun just to make sure that it doesn't smudge and if you do that it should work out okay but for example don't use the obsidian ink with uh markers because you will get some black ink smudging so we've got that stamped on there, and now we're going to go in with our rose gold. So rose gold embossing powder. I've got my embossing ink ready there, and I'm going to pick one of these beautiful layers to go on top of my hello. Okay, so I've got the word bestie here, sis, if it's your sister, Pretty, more, I know, mom, dad, friend, and bro. Okay. So I really like the word. I, I think I'm going to start with bestie. So um, I don't know if you can see on the stamp set itself. Um, we don't have a re-inker for the obsidian ink because it is such, it's not an ink that we can keep in a bottle or something. I think it has something to do with that. So um I did ask for that once, and I think that was the explanation I gave me. So because of the composition, it's really hard to get that into like a re-income. 
So as you can see, there are some spots left out here in the word. I don't know if you can see it here. And we've also got like this kind of swirl that goes up from the E and there's like a space there. And that's where it's gonna sit in the hello. And you have that for each of these sets. For example, here in the little swirl of the P, you've got a little, a little blank space in the dad as well over here, etc. So what we're going to do is we're going to place that, okay, onto our card. So I'm just going to have a, just see how I have to do this because this is very new to me as well. So I think it's like this. So what I've done, I'm going to try and show you. So I've got, I've got my swirl, I've got my B over here. So this is my B and I've got that gap here. So I place that gap where I've got the second line of my H. And then I kind of lined that up and then I've got my E over here and then I've got that gap here. So I think that's how it's going to line up. And what you can always do, that's what I usually do is I kind of just check on my little card here because we do have all the examples. So yeah, I have placed my B just like that. My T, oh yeah, I, may, I might have placed it just a little bit too high. So my T kind of falls under there a little bit and then we've got the E that comes like through the O and then we've got that little swirl just on the side. So that looks approximately okay yeah i will put my antistatic powder on just before stamping thank you sue because you know me all too well so i've got my antistatic powder so this is my antistatics powder it's a very special powder it's arrow root which i popped into my winnie the pooh little handkerchief and it sits in a little pot here so let's just go over just to make sure and I'm so lucky to have Sue who's watching my back. <laughs> Thank you for sharing, Kathy. So once again, this is a new stamp. So I'm just going to prep that. I'm very good at prepping. Just to make sure I get a nice clean finish. And I'm going to ink this up with my embossing ink. Oh, me too, sorry. Me too, Sue. I always forget the anti-static powder. And the funny thing, it's just here. It's just to the side. So, no excuses. I just don't want to get on. I want to get get stamping. So, so I'm just going to dab it in. I'm not going to press too hard because you don't want to get all that like ink in between our stamp. Just tapping that on. It's nice and juicy because I did add some extra on there just before. So if you do have our embossing ink, we do have refills for that and now i'm going to stamp that on top so give it a good 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 press right. and just pull it up yeah i can see that shimmer and shine on there so it's definitely stamped on and i'm just going to take some scrap paper i've always got a bit of scrap paper lying around here you can see this one was for blending and then I'm just going to pop on some of my rose gold powder. This is some of my favorite embossing powder from All To New with the platinum and the white. Well, they're all my favorite. Hi, Jackie. Yes, it is such a fun stamp set. So I'm just going to tap that off. There we go. See, it did stick to my a, my hello. See, it wasn't dry. Okay, let's try and save this. So I'm just going to kind of tap this off. So I do have some of that powder onto my O. So just with a brush, I'm going to try and get most of that off. I should have set that a little bit more. That's what I was saying with that obsidian ink. You do have to make sure it's nice and dry. Okay. 
So I don't want any stamping on my, my black. So I'm just going to try and kind of pull that off a little bit. Okay, that should do it. Oh, I still forgot my O. So when you do this technique, do make sure your black is nice and dry. Don't do it like me. Don't go be quick. Take some time. Next time we do this, we'll just make sure we'll heat set it extra long, like a minute. Yes, the ro rose gold embossing powder is so, so pretty. I love this one. See, I should have added more anti-static powder. Really silly me. Okay, let's heat set this now. Just hope it looks good. Oh, so sorry, Jean, that there were no notifications. So there we go. There we have it. So I should have been a little bit more careful and really heat set the, the obsidian black ink because I did get some powder in there. But you can see how pretty that looks. And I love the black, the pink, and then that gold on there. I think that looks just really nice and elegant. Really, really pretty. So for our next card, we'll be very, very careful. There we go. So let's work. Let's get on to the next one. We're going to create a rainbow of colors. Oops. So I've still got my bestie on there. I'm just going to give that a little, little clean. Just clean that off a little bit. We'll be using another one for our next card. Yeah, that's weird that some didn't get notifications. It does make for something really, really fancy. I think this would look really great um, if you're doing like I, I like this combination. I think they should make a stamp set like for weddings where you could do this kind of look as well. There we go. Yeah, don't forget to share today's live if you want to win our $15 gift voucher. We still have a lot of time. So let's get working on our second card. So here I'm going to be using some watercolor cardstock. And I'm going to start by stamping my hello in black. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and maybe do it in the other direction. might be fun just to make like a portrait card. So a little word of warning. When you are stamping on watercolor cardstock, the, the texture of the cardstock is completely different to smooth cardstock. So you won't get that same smooth finish as you would on maybe some white cardstock. But it will still look really good. So I'm just inking this up. Ooh. And then giving that a good, good press. A 
as you can see, it's not as crisp. What you can always do is go back in just to make that a little bit darker. Oh, Sue, you do. I don't know. I, I, I always seem to do landscape ones. I don't know why. So let me just do this one more time. I do want it nice and crisp. Another one. So this is because the paper is really has a different grain. Okay, that looks good. Let's just give this a nice good clean now. So I'm going to heat set this once again because I'm going to be working with water on it. And this will hold up to water, but I just like heat setting it. Hello there, sticker. <laughs> So this time I'm just going to test to see if it's nice and dry. Yeah, that looks dry. And I am going to go over this with uh, my anti-static powder just to make sure, 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 sure. Because I do not want any of that embossing powder sticking to it. So that's done. So let's look for our second stamp to layer on top, like so. So we've already done Bestie. Which one do you want me to do? I do like the Pretty or the Friend. You just tell me, Pretty or Friend. The first person who writes in the word wins. So while I wait for you to chime in, friend Sue, okay, you have decided. Yep. There are a lot of people going for friend, so let's just go for friend. So once again, we're just, just going to have a peek at our card, how it lines up. So we've got the F going over there with going behind our first our H there. It's like this, and the D coming up and peeking out over there. Okay, and we got it, got it in there straight away. So if you're hesitant, do go and check on the trifold card. So once again, I'm going to ink this up with our clear embossing powder. What I really like to do when I'm using stamp sets from all to new, especially stamp sets like these, where there are no floral images, no shapes, um, is try to find different ways of using the stamp set. So I'm really bad at combining lots of stamp sets that sets together, just because I have everything all over the place and I get really confused with everything that's going on. So usually I'll keep myself to maybe two stamp sets or maybe like a die set and a stamp set maybe a stencil and a stamp set or a stencil and a die set but i do like using just one set and trying to find loads of ways on how to use that set and when we when we buy our stamp sets we do want to get the most use out of them which is we don't want to use them just once so it's always fun to have like loads of techniques with just one set. Hi there, Joan. Joan, don't be sorry. And thank you for sharing. So we're using this lovely stamp set, which is called the Modern Hello stamp set. Let me just show you for all those people who just joined. It's this really fun set where you have the hello and then you can lay all of these lovely scripted words on top. So now we're doing the friend at the bottom. Okay. So now I can see, I can see how that is pressed into my hello because I kind of went all berserk with the um, anti-static powder. So let's add our rose gold ink, uh, rose gold powder again. There we go. So 
pop it on top. Let's tap it off. And let's add some more there at the bottom. Oh, and this time it's worked really, it worked a treat. So I've got nothing sticking to the, oh, I have. Oh, God, what's that? Let's just give it a good tap. Oh, I think it's coming off. Yeah, it did work. Yay. And I do like that black look against the gold. It's so, 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 so pretty. Let's heat set this. So when you're heat setting, um, what I do like to do is I like to start at the back to kind of start the melting process. Because I'm always afraid that if I start from the front, it will kind of blow my ink off, uh, my embossing powder off it. So let's start at the back. There we have it. A nice hello. Just gonna quickly go over it once it's dry. There we go. So here you can see how pretty that looks. It's so so pretty, just like a hello, and then that friend on there really really elegant but we're going to spruce it up so let's get out our water i've got my water uh i'm using the watercolor brush from all to new this is the 18 so it's kind of a flat brush and then i've got my palette over here let's try and get everything on the screen okay and my watercolors So I have got a smaller brush so that I can just pick up the color and kind of mix in my colors because if I'm going to start working with my huge brush in that, it's going to be a bit difficult. Well, that one's a bit large. Well, those are, that's my brushes on the floor now. So I'm just going to, this is, this is the, oh, this is another one. This is a Van Gogh brush, but I'm just going to use this small one so I can add water in here. I'm going to create kind of a rainbow. So oh, I'll just that off. Let's go with rainbow colors. So I'm going to go with some um, blue over here. I don't have this one is deep, um, deep blue. So here you can see it. I'm just going to pop that onto my palette over here. You could use the Alter New watercolor brush markers for this. So I've got my blue on there. Let's work with some purple. Shades of purple I'm going to be using, which is this color over here. There we go. You can see it. Got the purple. What I'm going to do before I mix any other colors, I'm just going to pop my water in there, just to kind of uh, orange or oh, cherry blossom. I'm going to want some pink in there as well, red, orange, pocket full of sunshine, yellow over here. Let's try and get this in the screen. It's such a large palette. Okay. My yellow already mixed in there. Let's go yellow. Okay. Try and get everything in the screen. 
This is the warm and cozy, which is the orange. Let's get the orange in there. So I'm just prepping all my colors on that on my um, palette, so that when I start working with my fl flat brush, everything is ready to go. So that's tea party. Oh, I might mix some red sunset in there. Let's just make that a little bit darker. These colors are really nice and vibrant. Oops. And last but not least, some cherry blossom because we do want a little bit of pink in there. Ooh, that one's really nice and pretty. Okay, let's just pick up a bit more of that shades of purple. I do want these to be nice and vibrant. The blue, which is over there, is just a little bit too pale for me. So I think I'm going to go in with Crystal Water, which is this color over here, which I think is going to be a bit darker. So let me just mix in a bit of that as well. Yeah, that's going to look a bit better. And this color, what's this one again? Story Night. That must be a darker shade as well. I'm going to try and get that in as well. I do want a darker shade of blue. Oh, that's better. That's nice. So don't be afraid to mix your colors. Okay. So I've got my colors ready. And that's yucky water. Let me get some clean water now. There we go. Always have some clean water on hand. So let's just get this brush into that clean water. So I do want this kind of really nice and wet. So I'm going to start with my first stroke. I'm just going to add water first, pick up the color, and then go over it like this. And then you can kind of add more or less. There we go. Going to do the same thing next to it. It's going to kind of there we go, and then going with the purple. Then I'm going to go do the same. So just add a stripe. I'm doing this stripe by stripe because I don't want everything to bleed together all in once. Okay. And you can always add more color as you go. And the colors will bleed together a little bit. So when you're doing this, make sure the colors mix nicely together. Go in with our red. Oh, so forgot to add the water first. Okay. We can do the red. Oh. Next stripe. It's going to be the orange. And the And now let's go in for our last little stripe here. And we're going to add the yellow. There we go. Little rainbow. So let's just clean this up. So I'm going to heat set this with my heat gun, just so that it dries quickly. <laughs> it is. Now, if you don't have any watercolors, you could also do this with your inks from All to New. Just dab them on a palette, mix in water, and you're ready to go.
And look at that. Really, really super easy to do. And you get this really fun card. And if you wanted to, you could add some little jewels or some sequins or little enamel dots. Or if you wanted to, you could pop on some butterflies or any embellishments that you like. Now, in this set, I'm just feeling if it's dry enough, let's just see if we can do that. Uh, in our set, we do have tiny extra sentiments here. So, hello, friend. You could add, I just wanted to say you are the best. Or, hello, friend. I'm thinking of you. Hello, friend. Happy birthday. Hello, friend. You look lovely today. Hello, friend. Sending you lots of loves love and hugs hello friend your tree is amazing so we can always add a little bit on there so that's what i'm going to do hello friend you are truly amazing let's go with that oops well my tiny oh yes that will work on there wouldn't it so let's just line that up exceptionally crisp ink is ready to go let's just ink this up my paper is dry so this should work out. Fingers crossed, I get this straight. Hello, friend. You are truly amazing. Very good press. And voila. Super easy, super colorful, and it will turn out different each time because watercolors, they're like that. So I was thinking, seeing I have a little, I still have 10 minutes left to show you another way of using your watercolors because we've got lots of watercolors left over on here. So let's just quickly make another card using the stamp set. Okay. So once again, um, we'll start with the hello. Let's get our misty tool out again. Okay, I'm just going to pop my palette on top and then I'll pop it down afterwards again. So I'm afraid I'm going to mess up my misty tool. Let's just pull the friend away. There you go. Like that. So another piece of watercolor cardstock. Okay, let's go in the other direction. Let's just change it up again a bit. Oh yes, Sarah, isn't it fun when it's just like the color and then you just have a sentiment. I love that too. So once again, we're going to stamp the hello stamp. So we did see on the previous one with the watercolor paper, we do need to stamp it like three times to get a nice crisp image. So I will do that. One. Two. Three. Ooh, let's go in for four. Oh, it is, Liz. I, I love it too, watercoloring. I just think it's something, it's so, it's such fun and it's really unpredictable as well. So you don't know how it's going to go. So it's something you just have to go with the flow. That's what I love about it. Don't really have to stress because you know it won't be exactly as you imagined it to be. And it's, each time it's different. It's really such fun to do. So hello. We're going to heat set that again. Exactly, Sarah. It is very therapeutic. There we go. Got the hello in there. Nice and heats. Some heat setting. Then I'm just going to dab this on there because we don't want any of our anti-static powder sticking to our lovely black hello. 
There we go. I'm going to use another one. Let me just I'm going to make, let's say, hello. Hello, pretty. We haven't done the pretty yet. That way we would have used all of them. So hello, pretty. Let's have a look. Mm. So I'm having a look on my card once again, just to make sure everything. Okay, so that kind of little... It's in there. And the wire really pops out at the bottom, like so. Yep, it's like that. Hi, Juve. Oh, Teresa, you're just like me and Sue. You forget it. I think I have. It's on my table. It's just there. It's in. I can see it. So it should be pretty easy to remember. But but it does make a difference if you use the anti-static powder. Giving this a good ink with the embossing ink. Yep, that looks good. Uh, once again, I need my paper. Let's pop the rose gold on there. Once again, you could really play around with this different embossing powders and really change the look. So I kind of give it a, a good tap because it doesn't, it, it seemed to stick onto the hello itself. And then when I gave it a good tap, it just came off. Oh, Teresa, you've got two. <laughs> I know, I think sometimes we're, we're all in that kind of very, but we're very concentrated trying to get the stamping right, and then we just forget the anti-static powder. Yes, Sarah, I think geometric shapes would work wonderful with this set. go so i think that oh i missed a spot over there there we go so a really good way of checking um if you've embossed everything is kind of holding it up to the light and if you see it's still a bit matte in spots just go over it again And what is really fun, this is this watercolor paper. You kind of see the texture uh, once you're embossed. So the embossed uh, part is like you get the texture of the paper in there. It's really, really cool if you look close. So there you can see how that looks, uh, like the stamped hello with the pretty on top. So we've got our leftover colors over here. So I thought it would be fun just to create some. Let me just do that. That water is really, really icky. Let's go in here. This one's a bit, that's a bit large, that set. Let me go in. This one's a bit small. I think I'm in between one over here. Somewhere. Oh. Let's just do with it. Well, this one will do. I don't know where I put my other watercolor brush from Ultimate. So, um, so I've got my lovely colors. I'm going to just paint some roses in the background. So I'm already going to add just a bit of water next to the colors I'm going to be using. Okay. And let's just start like this. Okay. 
So I'm kind of just drawing these little kind of shapes around just to create kind of that rose kind of look. Don't want to get it too large now. There we go. Let's just go in with a bit of purple. It's not, I usually do it with a smaller brush. Shading in there. But don't look too good today, my roses. I'm not in a rosy. Oh, why? Maybe I'm, I'm not used to using this brush with it. See, it's not turning out the way I wanted it to turn out. That's okay. Oh, let's just keep on working on this. Just make a small one over here. I don't know why they don't want to turn out the way I want them to. I'm going to go in with another red one over here. I think it's because I'm not using my old new brush for this one. It's funny how you get used to certain brushes. I'm just going to fill this up. I'm, it's been a while since I've done this. I think I'm just out of practice. I think the brush is just really too big. Okay, let's just use some blue. Just gonna make some kind of leaf shapes over here. This is not the way I wanted it to turn out. So this is kind of, I have some color left over. Let's just make, let's go watercoloring and it turned into a disaster. Let me just try and finish it off and see maybe if I can save it with some doodling. So I'm just gonna, <laughs>
uh, stencil. This isn't a stencil. That is a, a stamp set. It's the oh, oops, it's the Modern Hello stamp set here. So I'm just going to try and save this with a little bit of doodling. Let's doodle in some leaves. I'm just going to kind of recreate that kind of Oh, I like it when I add the doodling. <laughs> Let's go in with a little bit of doodling. I've been doing this a lot lately, adding water coloring and then doodling over it. That's what I did in my last class. There we go. So I'm going to try and hold it up to the screen so you can see. Kind of added in that kind of doodling. It looks like more freehand and doodled. So even though my roses are a bit messed up, kind of looks as if they were meant to be like that. There we go. And let's just fill up some of those spaces with some little dots. Let's just make it all the way freehand. As if it were meant to be. There you go. Look at that. So messed up my roses because I didn't have my favorite brush. I just doodled some lines in there. Oh, funny how I like it now. There we go. <laughs> and I've still got some color on there. Do you know what? You don't have to wash this off. Just leave it on there. And if you want to do like a bit of splattering, just activate the color again with a watercolor brush and you can use it for that or if you wanted to color in another project. So let me just put all three cards next to each other so you can have a look on how I used the, the set. So I did try to use um, a different version. So we've got Hello Pretty, Hello Friend, and Hello Bestie over here. Here I just paired it with some simple washi tape. So this is the pink watercolor washi tape just framed it in and because this stamp set is so fun um it doesn't need much more but you could add some enamel dots if you wanted to then i did the same technique with the hello stamped in black that lovely gold a rosy gold or rose yeah rose rose gold embossing powder and then i created this kind of watercolor effect on the back just to create a really fun watercolor look and then because I had lots of colors left over, I thought I'd create some roses, which turned out a bit funny, but then I doodled over them. And now I think it's my favorite, <laughs> my favorite card. So there you go. There you have it. The three cards I created today with the modern Hello stamp set, which you can see here. Thank you so much for having me today. I had such, such fun. It was, it has been a while since I've been on YouTube and face, Facebook live and it's always fun to be with you and to create uh, in these live sessions so there you go i hope you enjoyed this thank you all for joining me and for sharing um i am going to maybe just switch back to my face there we go oh and the color there we go that's the color color is better and i can show you the cards like here there we go so this one was with the hand-drawn, the hand-painted flowers and the doodling. We've got our watercolor card over here. And then we've got this one with the pink. So there you go. I hope to see you very soon with more inspiration. Thank you all for joining us. Have a lovely day, evening, morning, wherever you are. Huge shout out and thank you to Roxanne, who's been putting all the links in and answering all 
your questions. I'm really sorry that at the beginning everything was like elongated, but that is an issue I'm having with my camera and I have to switch to another program and then it suddenly appears normal. So there you go. And if you have any special requests, you can always send them through to me and I'd love to create some fun, fabulous uh, crafty projects with you uh, next time as well. So there you go. Oh, thank you, Sue. <laughs> Um, have a great end to the week and hope to see you very soon. Bye-bye, everyone.